Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Pentecostal meditations for day nine. This evening we are under the theme enabled by the Holy Spirit, not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 3 to 20. Let us sing together him 128, tune 151. Wo Gies van God in ons harte The Daily Watchword for Friday, the 17th of May. The Watchword for the Day. You shall not oppress a resident alien. You know the heart of an alien. For you were aliens in the land of Egypt. Exodus chapter 23 verse 9. The doctrinal text. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? And the king will answer them. Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did it to me. Matthew 25, verse 37, 38, and 40. Our hymn, in the just reward of labor, God's will is done. In the help we give our neighbor, God's will is done. In our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing, in the hearts, in the harvest, men are sharing God's will is done. The hymn was written by Fred Pratt Green. Our prayer, Lord, you remind us today to love unconditionally. We so easily turn a blind eye to the needs of others, yet you bless us each day. Forgive us, Lord, and help us to reach out to those in need. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers and children, if you are a parent, you would understand the difference between being angry at your children and being grieved by them. It is one thing when they make you mad. It is quite another when they break your heart. When you are angry, most of the time the problem can be corrected fairly quickly. But when they grieve you, it can create a wound that heals slowly, taking weeks, months, or even years to heal. The same is true of partners in a loving relationship. The word grief is a love word. You can only grieve someone who loves you. We talk a lot about the love of God and sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. God the Holy Spirit loves you and wants the best for you. The Holy Spirit is your advocate and your best cheerleader in your relationship with God. He is your connection to Christ. Our text for today cautions us as believers and as church to grieve not the Holy Spirit. In order not to grieve him, note what causes him to grieve. If we are to know what it is that grieves God, we must first have knowledge of him. It follows that we must spend time with him to know what things in our lives grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Living like unbelievers, according to chapter 4, verse 17 to 19, lying, 4.25, anger, verse, chapter 4, verse 26, giving place to the devil, chapter 4, verse 27, stealing, chapter 4, verse 28, evil speaking, chapter 4, verse 29 and 31, sexual perversions, chapter 5, verse 3 to 5. When we grieve the spirit, we break our heart. In practical terms, if you break your parents' or partner's heart, 
It does not mean you lose being with him, but the intimacy and confidence is broken. In the same way, though partaking in activities in our gatherings in church, we lose the closeness of and joy of the Holy Spirit in our lives. David the psalmist prayed in Psalm 51 verse 12, Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me to the joy of your salvation. Graciously, Paul gives some remedies of such ills in our lives. Learn the truth in Jesus, chapter 4, verse 20 and 21. Speak truth with each other, chapter 4, verse 25. Repent, chapter 4, verse 26. Give no place to the devil, chapter 4, verse 22 to 24. Work hard, chapter 4, verse 28. Edify, chapter 4, verse 29 and 31. Be thankful, chapter 5, verse 2 and verse 5. Paul calls on believers to live and work as the living body of Christ. Notice how in our communication, speaking with each other, we may hurt or heal one another. The scriptures declare that the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity, and that it corrupts the whole body. James chapter 3 verse 6 a and b. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. This should not be, verse 10. Not in our homes, not in the congregations, in our communities, not even in our thoughts. Many a congregant has been grieved because of hurtful words spoken behind their backs. Proverbs instructs us, keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Proverbs 4 verse 23. In our home, and I believe in many others too, a portrait text on the wall reminds me that Christ is everywhere. He is the head of this house, the silent listener to every conversation. Christ promised the power of the Holy Spirit according to Acts chapter 1 verse 8. The Lord is not out to destroy us. He chastises us, yes, but in his love. He strengthens us not to cause harm and destruction, resulting in sorrow and pain to our fellow brothers and sisters and young persons through our actions, but to participate in upliftment and to fight the forces of evil in our townships, our country and the world. He enabled us to interact with one another in love and kindness, with patience, honesty and truth. See Exodus chapter 32 verse 7 to 14. He has enabled us to interact with one another in love and kindness, with honesty and truth. He will teach us and remind us of his words. John chapter 14 verse 20. We please God when we commune in prayer with him and meditate on his word daily. This is an ongoing process. Remember, when we fall, do not be discouraged and don't know what to pray for. The Spirit intercedes for us according to Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Begin your day saying, I am a child of God, sealed. The Holy Spirit lives within me. The Holy Spirit is here to guide, convict and empower us. Seek his face and forgiveness. First John chapter 1 verse 9 reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Let us pray the pre um, scribe pray for today and we continue meditating on not grieving the Holy Spirit. The pray, Holy Spirit, please help us in our daily lives and service to steer away from the things that grieve you. Enable us in your power to follow, obey and honor Jesus today in our thoughts, words and deeds. Forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. We conclude our meditations by singing that chorus, Al my kummer and al my smart.
Let us receive the benediction of the Lord. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Have a blessed evening. Stay safe and be blessed. I thank you very, very much.